Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome to my favorite, my new favorite webcam in St. Bart's. Um, they've got all these live webcams on YouTube. They're amazing. This is a new one. It's unbelievable. I'm showing you this this morning because I want to show you something interesting while I talk rather than showing you um, like my Microsoft store page, for example, which I'm about to talk about. Um, for people who cannot access their DLL folder, the folder that has, like if you try to do the DLSS update and you can't access the folder, if you're on this, this is only for people on the store version. I think I may have figured out what the problem is. And it's a lot of people. Um, it seems to be kind of the main issue that people have is they can't access that folder. It's the Windows apps folder. Anybody who's got that Windows apps folder issue, um, where even though you have admin rights for your computer, you can't access that folder. Um, in November 2021, this is a long time ago, um, I believe this is when they released the SIM for Xbox. They changed the way that the SIM was installed for store users on PC. And at the time, uh, it should have converted your install from the old way it was done to the new way it was done or new way it is done and part of the part of the the update of why they were doing this if you remember there was a point at which um people we didn't have access to uh the um the 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 standard planes in the game like in other words, people couldn't mod like the stock 152 or the stock 172, um, and they unencrypted those files so people could have access to mod those planes. Um, and it was at that time where they changed over to this new update or this new install style. Um, so the first thing I'm going to suggest you try doing. If you haven't done this, I do this all the time. I don't know if anybody else does. Go to your Windows, go to your Windows Store. I've got it pinned. I I I do this update all the time. Um, go to your update store. Come down here to the lower left where these like little book symbols are, and then click Get Updates. Um, and what you want to do is make sure that your Xbox application is updated on your sim um it's unlikely that anybody hasn't done this but it's possible so that would be the first thing i would check because unless you have the updated xbox app you're not going to be able to do this even though this happened two years ago I, I find it hard to believe that nobody you know that people haven't updated their xbox app in two years but it's possible so try that now let me show you the, the folder first. So here is my C drive. Um, that's my MS, my, my flight simulator install, but I have this folder called Xbox games and this is the new install, right? And I've got two of them, <laughs> flight simulator and flight simulator one. I think that's because I was in the beta. Um, but a lot of people go into this Xbox Games app and they don't have Microsoft Flight, Flight Simulator in here. And that's what you need to, this is the new install style and this is what you need in order to be able to access and update the DLL files, uh, the, D, the DSL, DLSS files. This stuff is confusing, sorry. Um, so for people who haven't been able to do that, there are people who are unable to uh, do the frame generation uh, uh, update mod, the frame generation mod, because they can't access the uh, the folders. Um, so if this is you, this is, I think, how you do it. So if you go into the Xbox app, click on your name up here, um, and you come down to... Um, next, okay, so, I'm sorry, you select your, select your game, your Microsoft Flight Simulator game. Um, and if you click on these three dots here, if you see 
uh, you click on manage and if you come to manage and you see a button that says enable that means you have not unencrypted the files you do not have the new install setup I don't have a, 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 a uh, an enable button here because I do have this uh, the new format for it so if you don't have that this is what you need to do uh, and I apologize if this is a little choppy and a little uh, one by one here but you click on this here you come to settings okay and you come here to general um, and I'm sorry actually you come to install options they have since moved this now this is that Xbox games folder that I was just showing you um, and if you don't have, if this is somewhere else, it's likely that you have the old setup still and, you, and your files are encrypted and you can't access those files. Um, so what you're going to have to do, um, you're going to have to do some experimenting with this because I have this set up correctly. So I don't know, I can't walk myself through it and see whether it works. If you have the Xbox games folder right here but you don't have a Microsoft Flight Simulator folder I would right click new file or well actually you can just go up here new folder and create a Microsoft Flight Simulator folder okay um, so once you have that folder created Open the game, you know, open the, the game here. Just click on your game. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. Um, and then you click on these three dots and you click on manage. Uh, then what you're going to do is look at the files uh, tab here. Um, once again, if you see the enable button here, you're going to want to click enable. Um, and then it's going to, you're going to have an option to choose a new drive. So you can either change your drive or change the folder. And what I would do is then click here on browse, see Windows, Xbox games, highlight that folder, right? And then you're going to click, it's going to give you the option to move. So I'm, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess anything up on my system. But you double click your folder. Then it's going to give you the option to move. And you select move. There's going to be a green move button right here. Okay. And all it's going to do is move your Microsoft Flight Simulator install from where it is now to this new uh, Xbox games, Microsoft flight simulator folder, then it will be unencrypted. You can move your files in and out, update your DLSS file, etc. Um, I forget where the windows apps folder is. Uh, but that's the one that everybody is having trouble getting into. Um, so if you're having difficulty updating files and you're getting that message that it can't be accessed even though you have admin rights um, that's probably an indication that you've got the old setup and you need to update your uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator installation please once again if you have questions if you've got answers if you see other people asking questions in the comments please try and answer those questions because Again, I can't test this because I already have the correct setup. But I believe that this is going to be the, the, the way to get access finally to, to your Microsoft Flight Simulator install and be able to update your files. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much, and we'll talk soon.